Hello, wonderful, amazing video game type people, and welcome back to Might and Magic 10. Alright, so last time we left off, we had just killed, oh, some big boss monster thing. We got a relic for it, didn't we? Oh yeah, we have lots of relics. Oh, all the relics, too many relics now. Too many relics, if such a thing is possible. That's okay, though. We're going to get stronger for this, so it's it's worthwhile. Okay, so what I want to do now, besides the obvious of resting, is... Uh, okay, we have enough money as well. We can probably um, go for the Lord Heart. Yes, running on Mother Earth under Father Sky. There's a, the Lord Heart series of quests, um, which will let us... Uh, He'll finally teach us Grandmaster if he likes us enough. Observed. We still have some space for items. That's kind of what I'm worried about is we're running out very quickly. What is this? What? Is this some mysterious tower? Oh, that's creepy. The water demons watching. Ah, I need the blessing of Salasha. Okay. Oh, hello. Who the? What the? That's not creepy at all. The distant home. Hey, Cathalel. You found this place. Interesting. Yeah, man, we're pretty legit. Oh, can you promote me to a blade master? That'd be awesome. A blade master is not a mere swordsman. No slaves will help, but not for free. A blade master is not a mere swordsman with a fancy title. He is one with the harmony and puts the safekeeping of the forest before anything else, even his own life. I was sent here to retrieve sacred stones known as talasials, the hearts of the forest. Go on. Their power could help strengthen the new mother of tree. And help heal our force after the heinous act committed by Tweedhana's people. Such a stone is located in Halaf Grove, far to the south. Bring back the Talasau, and I'll make you blade masters. Thanks. Sounds easy enough. Okay, but it's far to the south, so we'll have to actually get there. But hey, that's nice. We now know how to become blade master, or er, and that's what we want for Ramazan. I want him to become a blade master. So that's our first promotion quest. Yay! What's up with this? Great! I needed to hit something. Oh, oh, this should be easy. Woo! Understaff level increased. Okay, what what does that do? Plus nine damage air. Hey, that's good. I'm down with that. Yeah, just keep causing hurt. What's going on with the shield? Nope, oh, still level one. Still level one. Why aren't they, uh... I, I do wonder why they don't level up faster. Oh, well. A pulsing green liquid. Uh, is that Earth? It is. He must be doing pretty well for Earth magic. I figure if you're going to put all the crappy 1% bonuses somewhere, you should put them on one person so that it... Makes we are all aware that these parts are full of brigands, Whoa. right? So that makes a noticeable difference. Hour of power. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Oh, I want the hour of power for days, bud. See if I'm not ready to kill whatever comes our way. Hour of power is really good. The melee and range attack values of all party members are increased by 10. Their might, magic, perception, and destiny values are increased by 4. That's, I'm down. This one is mine. Just a couple wolves. Yeah, bring it in. Bring it in, boys. You know what? We'll fall back. What makes these wolves special? Elite wolf. Ah. Their strike rate is doubled as long as current health is below 50% of the max. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh. That was really disappointing. That was less disappointing. Um, probably Celestial Armor is not a bad way yes. to go. He's going to hit several hurts. times. 
Oh, come now. I have determined that our dwarf misses entirely too much. Wow. But legit, he misses too much. There we go. Ooh, that was a that was a massive blow. Elite wolf drop traveler's boots. Yay! No, but seriously, that's a really big blow. Just one block? Lame. All right. I can definitely get behind the amount of damage we're doing. Ooh, what's this? Yes, I feel strong. Darkness ward. Okay. I can do a darkness ward. We'll keep going into this cave though. There's no one here. Crazy. We haven't triggered the next part of the quest. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back here. Um. For Lord Hearts. Quest line. Are we gonna get attacked by more wolves? Of course we are. Uh, silk spider. Or moon spider. Nope. White liquid. I'm not sure what the white liquid was. Air, I think? Oh, perception. Yes! That's disappointing. That was really, really disappointing. Can I? Ah, shoot. You know what? I didn't save. Whatever. White liquid. I gotta remind myself. White liquid is perception. I also have to check. What's, what's going on with our buddy over here? Oh, I see. These guys are at 130, and he's just ugh, 15 points behind. That's offensive. Can we get a Master Axe? Where do I have to go? Is that is that? I think we have to go to the crag to get Master Axe. And there's really nothing else for him to boost his to hit chance. So that's where firewood is harvested. That's really disappointing. Now I'm I'm kind of really sad. <laughs> Perception. I mean, it just would have been one. Whatever, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Note to self. Always save before drinking those damn barrels. You know, sometimes I make really poor life choices. What is this crap? What's in this tent? It looked very empty. It looks very full now, all of a sudden. May Mother Earth give you strength, help you find lots of game. Huarea salutes you. What is the victualer? Huarea is hunter. Huarea can find food even in places when raiders believe there is no food. Huarea asks for 150 gold now, a small share of any gold found. After some more discussion, you understand he means 3% of the gold you find on your travels. I, uh, no, it's okay. Apparently you can just rest infinitely with him or something. I don't know. Whatever. I don't get it. What confuses me more, however, is that, uh, yeah, okay, let's go, we're gonna go do the Lord Heart stuff. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, Cause I wanna be a Grand Master of the Sword. So presumably we need to run to Lord Heart's, um, what do you call it, run to his estate and spy on him, as it were. And then when we go to his estate at night, we'll find out that he's not there. Something like that. And then we go to the cave and we eavesdrop on him and What are you doing? Something tells me the locals will have work for us. Really, it's like they've been waiting for us to solve all their problems for them. What's in here? Church library. Ah. I don't need no magic. Nice architecture. Right. Actually we weren't going there, we we're going to the Heart Manor, which is right here. Yeah, baby. Alright, let's talk to Lord Hart, I guess. Hey, I want to meet with Lord Hart. My master is resting. I need to see if he can receive you. Please, have a seat. He comes back a few moments later. My Lord Hart will see you now. Please, follow me. Thanks, Alfred. The butler. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Yes? How can I help you? I want you to teach me. I grew up an orphan in a stacked duchy during the War of the Bitter Ashes. When the young Duke Kieran returned to the court, after years of captivity, I was appointed his squire. He was a kind but troubled man, forever changed by his years in the elven prisons, and one day he disappeared again. His sister Kate enlisted me to find him. I never found anything. No clues, no leads, nothing. It was like he had simply vanished. 
Having no answer to that mystery continues to haunt me. I'm sorry, Lord Hart. I, you're the guy, man. Teach me the Grand Mastery. I guess he won't. Okay, well, if we're going to spy, we have to come back at night. So... Let's rest, maybe. Nice. It's night time. I'm sorry, my master is absent tonight. Please come back tomorrow, prefer preferably in the afternoon. He's absent? Spy on Lord Hart. Discover where Lord Hart has gone. Yeah. Why isn't he here? Mm. I want to start a fight. Okay. He must be up to something. That evil, villainous Lord Hart. Okay. It's weird to think him evil, though. I mean, he's Lord Hart. He's always been one of the good guys. <laughs> Uh, why am I here again? All the supplies. 13384. Boom. Sold. Back. Gone. How much money do we have? Do we have enough money for, uh, I guess we're saving it for the Grand Mastery? Okay, and before we proceed any further, I do want to real quick. Um, might and Magic. 10. Oh, axe skill. This is a beautiful trainer's list. And it says here, Axe Master is the Craig. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I'd like to get that mastery. But, what do you want? one thing at a time. Why does one panic? Just because we're raiders? Ugh, so rude. So rude. We're nice raiders. I don't know what they're on about. Okay, we're going to find Lord Hart. Once we find that the heart has his reasons, I, I assume that we then have to turn the Inquisitor away with it, and then Lord Hart will be like, oh, okay, cool, I'll teach you how to Grandmaster Swordsmanship. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that sounds legit. We can, we can do that. I wonder if I have to pay for it. How much is it going to cost? Good God, it was about 500 for the uh, original thing, right? That was 500. Master, mastery is 1600. So what does this mean? Oh, what is that? Okay. Anyways, to the cave of love, to the tower of joy, the cave of joy. At least we're not going to be short of wood for the campfire. Ha ha ha! I'm gonna have five this. What? Is there no Lord Hart? But I'm here. I've come to the cave. Must I wait longer? I don't understand. I feel stronger. What do you want of me? Why aren't you in this cave, Lord Hart? Damn it, I know you're here somewhere. Don't be like that, man. You know what? Screw you. I'm gonna use Whispering Shadows. Yes! I feel strong! How does that make you feel, you little dirty, dirty Lord Heart? There's no secret here, is there? Still, it feels like there should be. Discover where Lord Hart has gone. How would I find the cave in Yon Chow Forest, the hunt for Montgomery? No, I want to find Lord Hart. Don't be weird about this. I can't see why elves like forest so much. It's just green stuff. Greener stuff and some more green stuff. Ugh. <sighs> I guess we're gonna wait a night. We can go back, ask Lord Hart where he goes. We can just rest, copious yes. amounts. Running on Mother Earth, under Father Sky. Suppose we rest again. Okay, I'll just F5 it. We rest again, there we go. We are all aware that these parts are full of brigands, right? 
We want to do this one more time. Maybe we just needed to wait an extra night. Who knows? Maybe it just wasn't, you know, triggering or whatever. Ah! Damn you, Lord Heart. You damnable sneak thief. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're gonna go to his his house, I guess, and say, Hey, Lord Hart, what are you doing? so awful. Okay, I definitely just googled it while we were waiting for that screen to load, and now I'm kind of miffed. I, whatever. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's just a little bit shitty, that's all. You know? Because you kind of say, okay, I know where he is. I, I shouldn't have to trigger a series of events to find him. He should just be there, because that's where he's supposed to be, right? But anywho... Apparently. I'm not in the mood to talk, okay? <laughs> Apparently. We're gonna wait until evening. Okay, so Lord Hart is out for the night. We're gonna come to this guy and say, hey. Pleasant night to you, Raiders. The night. Yes, he passed through the gates a few moments ago. I think he was headed going west into the Yoncha woods. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Now that we've spoken to the guard, the guard has told us that he's left the town. I mean, I could have told you that. You know, it was a safe assumption. It was a safe assumption. Where else would he be going? Into some dark, seedy back alleyway? No. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. Here we go. This time it better work. I want that Grand Mastery of Sword. I love that everything we do in this game is motivated by, by you know, desires and greed, really. What is that? The young child forest. Oh. Shh. I'm talking to the trees. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> that is actually really good. That makes me happy. What? Oh, <gasps> look. I found them! I found them! The Inquisitor Horn believes Lord Hart is hiding a dark secret. He has to, he tasked the raiders with finding what he is doing. Decide what you will tell to her and okay, so we found out what he does. Can I just talk to him? As the raiders explored the forest of Yon Chal, they overheard the sound of two voices talking deep within the woods. One man, one woman. Their tone was argumentative, yet tender. The raiders had found the secret meeting place of two star-crossed lovers. For the man was none other than Lord Hart. But the woman, with her pale skin and delicate features, was an elf. Shh! Eladan, someone is coming! He puts his hand on the hilt of his sword, ready to unsheathe. Get behind me, my dear. If it's the Inquisitor again, he might. He recognizes you. Here are those raiders I saw in Seahaven. What are you doing here? You followed me? The Inquisitor hired us. I knew it. He's like a dire wolf smelling blood. I'll never leave us alone. I appreciate your honesty, even if it spells doom for us. Do not let dark thoughts poison your mind, beloved. This meeting is no coincidence. I can hear it in Molasses' whispers. These raiders have a role to play in our story, Eladan, in good or in bad, that Molassa didn't reveal. So be it. I'll trust your instincts, my love, even if I doubt your dragon. So, raiders, where do we go from here? Are you going to denounce us to the Inquisitor? Lyrdan is my wife. <gasps> dun dun dun. So now you know my dark secret. I've married an elf of Tarlad. Not what you expected, am I right? I moved to the peninsula because it was becoming increasingly dangerous for us to meet in the stag duchy. Despite all our efforts, people were becoming suspicious of my frequent travels to the forest. I suppose I'm not good at lying. Lately, Lyr has been trying to help me find the hideout of the brigands. I'm sure they have a base somewhere in this forest, but so far we couldn't locate it. I think Lur's... Is, Lur, who's, is that her name? Yeah, okay. Love between humans and elves. Tell us about love between humans and elves, Lord Hart. 
Do not look so surprised. In the days of the Shantiri Empire, marriages between members of different races were not infrequent. Before the Elder Wars created a fracture, uh, before the Elder Wars created a fracture between the children of the dragons. I don't care what inquisitors like Hearn might think. Like Heem might think. If he knew I'm married with an elf, worse, a servant of Malassa, I guess he would have me burnt at the stake. And yet loyalty and honesty are among the sacred virtues of Valrath. So as far as I'm concerned, there's no blasphemy in following your heart. Back. Lurdan is my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heart and Lurdan. Tell us about you two. I've met Lur while looking for my Lord Kieran Stag in the Antlerd Forest, an area that marks the border between the Stag Duchy and the former Elven Kingdom of Tarlad, Twidana's lands. I had always believed the Dark Elves to be evil, as they worshipped Malasa, the sworn enemy of our own dragon god. Yet, it was Lur who saved my life when I was nearly killed by a pack of dire wolves. When I came back to my senses, that's so Game of Thrones, I thought an angel had descended upon me. I had never seen such beauty and kindness. I was very young then, but my love for her never waned. For years I courted her until she finally agreed to become my wife. There was no priest, no ceremony. The dragons were our only witnesses. Alrath did not scorch me with his holy light, so I like to think he had no objections. Aw, that's cute. Marrying a dark elf, you weirdo. You weirdo. Can I talk to her too? May Melassa's night hide you from harm. My name is Lyrdon. What do you want? Uh, tell us about him. In the elven tongue, El means light, and Adan is the name we give to humans. That's how I used to call my husband when I first met him. And I've kept the habit. Human names can be hard to pronounce for elves, and heart is no exception. For me, he is and will always remain my beloved man of light. The elf at the forge. Yeah, tell us about your shitty elf friend. A mysterious elf talking in rhymes and riddles, answering questions with more questions. Yes, that sounds like a member of my people. Malasa is not fond of straight answers. Who he was and what his intentions were, I do not know. You don't survive in the darkness if you don't learn to keep a few secrets. Uh, tell us about you two. When I found this young man barely standing, trying with the last of his strength to fend off a pack of enraged wolves, I forgot all that hatred, all the enmities that existed between our people since the War of the Bitter Ashes. I only knew I had to help him. I didn't expect it to change my life forever. The dragons play mysterious games with their children. Cruel, too. For I will live for centuries while humans do not. Oh, that's so sad. No. Anything else? Hearts past, hearts secret. All right, all right. Get out of here. So can we actually get Lord Heart killed? That'd be crazy. Mind you, I don't want Lord Heart to get killed because if he gets killed, does that mean I don't get to the Grandmaster and Swordsmanship, or will he just be left, or or what would happen? At any rate, I'm going to lie to that horrible Inquisitor man. I can't say he's very sympathetic. You know, hiding and saying, shh, you know, find out he's a horrible person. Who cares? Let the man love who he wants to love. Ugh. Are we in? I feel like we're in. Bum, 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 bum. Why are you in such a rush? Why am I in such a rush? You ask me this because I want to be a grandmaster of swordsmanship. Our Amazon's getting all the boons today. Get out my way. Okay, here's your fella. Hey, Inquisitor man. Hey, bud. I'm just gonna save this as Lord Heart, and then maybe one day I'll come back and find out what happens if I turn him in. Do -do. Ha! You're back! Have you discovered what Hart is up to? Tell me what his secret is. Tell the whole truth. Tell the truth, mostly. You say Lord Hart was only acting so secretive because he was trying to locate the brigand's hideout? I sense no lie in what you say. Maybe I've been wrong about Hart. What? A reward? When did I say anything about a reward? Your actions have pleased Delrath. That should be enough for the likes of you. Now get out of my sight before I start investigating you. What an asshole. Father Sky's power is in me! Cool. Everyone's level 15. Tell me about this shield. Plus 14 armor value. That's that's insane. He's almost 50%. Oh, resistant to physical damage. That's beautiful. What do we have here? Did this level up? Oh, yeah, it did. A successful attack has 5% chance to provoke the target. The target must focus their attacks, abilities, or spells on the party member who provoked them last until the end of the turn. That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. I almost feel like that would be better on, uh, on our dear friend over there, but that's fine. We'll, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, and then, of course, here we have the, uh, that's almost level three. Yeah, that's leveling up really quickly. 
I don't think we can use any of these though. Ah, I'd like to. What's this? What's all this? Elixir of mana. Permanently increases maximum mana by five when consumed. Do it. Do it up. Thank you. Elixir of arcane resistance. All schools. Resistant by one. Um, yeah, that earth resistance is probably natural at this point. Um, ba -dum -ba -bum -bum -bum. Make the dwarf the most resistant? Why not? I love that. Seems reasonable. Though, it wouldn't hurt her to gain some resistance. She's pretty low on it right now. Hmm. There we go. They went to the dwarf. That's not so bad. And we're gonna, we got some money going on here. Okay. Lord Heart, damn you. You listen here, Lord Heart. You listen here and you listen good. Alright, 8 a.m. Come on. Let me talk to you and you're going to teach us Grand Mastery of the Sword. Do you understand? Hey, bud. Yes, how can I help you? A sword is not just... What? A Ramazan needs to be promoted before he can reach this rank? No, he'll never get promoted. <sighs> that sounds difficult. Okay, well... Screw you, game, with all your arbitrary rules and things. Eesh. Can we get to the crag at level 15? Maybe? Maybe if we're really tough? Who knows? Maybe if I... If I purchase those silk swords like I've been meaning to. Eesh. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was, I was really excited for that. Oh well, at least we've unlocked it. We, we got some experience, obviously, that's good. Let's see, what could we possibly level? His shield? Do we have Grandmasters of Shield available to us? We do. Is he going to have to be promoted to be a Grandmaster of the Shield? I sure hope not. Uh, you try to block range strikes against other party members that have no block attack. I mean, I don't really care about that at all, right? So let's go with the heavy armor. Yay! And did we want to also boost somebody's crossbow? I don't remember who's, but I know it was somebody's. Anyways, we've got heavy armor expert. That's nice. That was somebody here, wasn't it? I don't think so. What are you training here, friend? Oh, the spear. Blessings upon you. Mm, the spear or dodge, any number of things really. Medium armor, that's what work. Hey, expert medium armor. That means he can finally put on that insane armor and just never hit anyone ever again. Uh, on this side of things, endurance would be nice, honestly. Um, dual wield? Yeah, we're going to go all out on the dual wield. I'd like to become a master of dual wielding, and I think he can do that. So, yeah. Confirm. And for our dear friend, um, expert mysticism. We still have to get that promotion. Oh no. I just don't know. What could we possibly give her? What's that sound? Hmm. Mm. Light magic, mysticism, air magic. I like dark magic. That might not be awful. Getting that primordial up could be helpful. Um, I don't want to keep going with light magic just because we can't grandmaster it. I want to push something towards grandmastery here. Whether that's primordial or dark. Admittedly, the magical focus isn't an awful way to go. She's going to have to do that no matter what. Hmm. I like the idea of getting her, uh, her dark magic up. Let's let her master dark magic. I think we can, we can get away with that somehow. That's what we're going to do. Okay. We definitely have to get that mysticism expert. We got a bunch of things that we have to expert train her on. What are you doing? Mm. Um. 
I want to boost the uh, the uh, attack value probably because his attack value is pretty low. So one to might. Don't you have anything better to do than chat up women? Throw the rest into perception for three extra attack. Oh, that's so disappointing. How low his attack is. Why is it so low? Wasn't it higher a minute ago? I swear it was. Okay, on this side of things, uh, we'll keep boosting perception, I guess. Get those nice high attack points. Um, might, destiny, confirm, good. Um, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> do I want to keep pushing that? I probably do. It's getting late. He's pretty jacked. He'll do okay. Either no matter what we do, he'll do fine. Um, get the damn it. Well, I like the high crit chance. Let's boost a little bit on might. Boom, good enough for me. Over here, magic, as always. And uh, why not? One more for vitality for the nice rounded 120 and spirit. That's great. Okay, does anyone, is there a crossbow in here yet? Other than the relic? I'd love to be able to give her a crossbow. But alas, <laughs> it will not happen. Okay, what am I trying to do? Right, okay. All the skills. All the skills. Uh, medium armor expert. Yay! Rex can now put on that armor. I don't know if we we want him to, but then again, he does have really high main hand attack, anyways. And this will become don't you have super badass. To do than to chat up women? Oh, protect against feeble minded. That's okay. It's not like he casts spells all day. So we'll go ahead and throw that on him. Early on, it's gonna suck. Yeah, his main hand attack is super weak now. But once that gets tougher. It'll probably, hopefully, be worth it. I'm willing to bet that it will be worth it. Okay, there was other things. There were other things. Um, heavy armor. And did somebody just fart? That's crazy. What a silly game. Okay, heavy armor. And mysticism. I think we can get mysticism up north. Heavy armor was somebody here. I swear it was. One of the dwarves, maybe? No, no, I don't think so. I think mysticism was the priest back here. Uh, yeah, mysticism expert. Which one's that? That's this one. Oh, I can make you an expert of mysticism. Please, thank you. She'll find a teacher in Carthal. So that should give her a little bit extra. Yeah, what is that? 16, 17? That's not awful. Her mana is definitely getting nice and high. Um, and then... Uh, um, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. What was the other thing I wanted to do? Heavy armor. Right, 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 right. Who can train me in heavy armor? Let's find out. Because I know it's somebody, and I think it's the person here. So, trainer list. Go down the list, find heavy armor. Maybe I don't find it for some reason. Oh, I found medium armor. Oh, there's heavy armor. Thumund and Sorpagol. Oh! The expert in heavy armor training is the guy in Sorpagol. Well, that's fine. We can, uh... We can go to all the trouble of going back to Sorpagol. Sure we can. Just for less crit damage on the guy. And that's that's a real thing. You see us getting critted all the time. Why are you in such a rush? So we get to, for the first time, we're going to use the coach. 
take me to Sorpagal. Yes, thank you. It's easier than walking. Just like real life. And once we arrive, what are we gonna do? We're gonna find that silly heavy armor dwarf guy. Alright. It's pretty but Oh we have Edwin with us. Teach me, O oh great master of heavy armor. Teach me your ways. Hey, okay. So I think that's everything. Let's take a look. We got we got our heavy armor skill. How is he doing? Oh, he doesn't actually have some kind of crazy heavy armor on him. Yeah, so he's, he's doing fine. If we look at skills. Critical damage of melee and ranged attacks made on you is reduced by 15% while you are wearing heavy armor. That's nice. The critical damage is reduced. Yeah, I'll take it. On this side of things here, we, we just have that maxed so as to hopefully not cause him too much pain and suffering. I guess what, it, what is that? I think it's a 7 reduction, I think. Yeah, so that's a that's a reduction of 7 attack value, which means he's getting a 23 points of attack taken out by that armor. I hope it's worth it. Because right now it's really not worth it. Ugh. Okay, well, we've done well, lads. We've done well. I'm going to cut this episode here for now. Well, first I'm going to go to this this thing here and I guess when we come back we can uh, we can see if we can run to the crag for some reason oh what was it to get his uh, get his axe skill up and going I don't know or we can just go ahead and keep doing the quests like we're supposed to um, that's probably what we'll do there's a uh, there's a dog companion that we might be able to get so we'll see we shall see okay I'm gonna cut the episode I guess I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna make the trip back uh, travel to Sea Haven. Yeah, let's make it happen. We can buy a we can buy a horse here if we wanted to. Should give us more room in our inventory for items. Probably want to sell some of these items before we go. So that might not be a bad life choice. Okay, thanks so much for watching, folks, and I will see you next time on Might and Magic Ten. Bye.